In Australia, no matter which infant car seat you choose, your baby's always going to be safe and sound. Hi guys, Jess here from Baby Village, and today I'm going to help you with the decision making process for choosing the right infant car seat for you. So the first question we'll ask to determine which option is best for you will be what kind of car you drive and how many you have. This is important because you'll need to ensure the car seat and your regular passengers all fit comfortably. For safety reasons, there needs to be a gap between the car seat and the passenger seat in front. If you're planning to have more than one baby in a short time frame, you'll need to know how many seats you can fit across the back. And if you think you'll be sharing the driving across mums and dads' cars, then a capsule option might be the way to go, as you'll only need to buy a second base and not a full second seat. Secondly, we want to look at what kind of driving you do. If you're a round town city driver making frequent stops and constantly getting bub in and out of the car, you're going to want convenience. So a capsule might be a good idea, like the Britax Unity. Alternatively, if you do a lot of highway driving, you're going to want to look at a fixed seat, something like the Britax Platinum Pro. It's awful to think about, but if you are in an accident, you want to be sure your baby has the right protection. Just like airbags in your car, car seats come with a variety of additional cushioning depending on which brand or model you select. The last thing to consider is the longevity of the seat, which will determine your budget. A capsule has the shortest lifespan, lasting anywhere from four to 12 months, depending on when your baby outgrows it, at which point you'll need to look at purchasing a zero to four car seat anyway, as this will allow you to continue to rearward face your little one, or move up to a six months plus forward facing only seat. The reason for recommending that you keep your baby rearward facing as long as possible is how his body will respond to a front or rear impact accident. In terms of weight, your baby's head is far heavier in proportion to their body. So you can imagine in an accident, if they're sitting up facing forward at only six months old and with limited neck control, it's going to be quite a jerk. However, if they're in a rearward facing position, they're simply going to slide with their body following their head. Some other reasons to consider selecting a capsule over a fixed seat in the beginning are if you live up or downstairs, or if you have on-street parking rather than an inside garage, carrying bubs in a capsule plus your shopping in the other hand is going to be much easier. Likewise, if you're in and out of the car, running errands all day, or you're a second time mum and dropping off your firstborn at daycare, it's going to be much easier for you to grab your capsule and hold your little one's hand for that short trip. However, you'll want to remember bubs can only stay in the curved position of a capsule for 90 minutes to two hours. On the negative side, a capsule option can be heavy. So if you're petite like me or have lower back problems, it may not be the best option for you, as the capsule alone can weigh anywhere from three to five kilos, plus your bub, which is gonna grow from three to eight kilos in the first six months. So just to recap, no matter which choice you make, your child is going to be safe, thanks to Australia's stringent safety laws. It's just a matter of finding the right car seat to suit your needs. If you've got any questions about choosing the right infant car seat for you, or any other product on your baby checklist, leave us a comment below or get in touch by email. Questions at babyvillage.com.au. Otherwise, you can come into store or find us online at babyvillage.com.au.